I think there's a lot of, at, at the broadest level, I think there's a lot of uh, soul searching that needs to be done by the Australian population. I think there's a lot of truth telling that needs to happen. The truth of colonisation, the truth of the damage and dangers done by the Western culture that we have now that continues to colonise Aboriginal communities and um, shorten lives of Aboriginal people. So each person in Australia needs to know a lot more about Australian history. Uh, the levels of knowledge are still low. We don't necessarily have a shared understanding of things like even something as recent as the stolen generations is not well understood. So what are the impacts of colonisation? What do you know about Aboriginal people? What do you know about Aboriginal culture? This is high level stuff. And then of course, as you said, there's a real need to respond to racism individually when it happens. So as bystanders, as witnesses to racism. And that means also responding to our own implicit biases because we, a lot of us will have implicit biases that create negative views uh, about Aboriginal people, especially those who were born and raised in Australia. So respond to your own racism, be honest, be open, be able to reflect on your own behaviours, uh, whether they're unconscious or not. And then when you see racism happening, think about how you can intervene. You know, is there an opportunity to uh, confront perpetrators yet at the time, afterwards? Is there an opportunity to uh, support the targets or victims of racism? And what is your understanding of racism as well? Because a lot of times responses to, to incident, incidents are, are slow or ineffective because people don't have a good understanding of racism. So understand that it involves subtle as well as overt expressions. It can be unconscious. So be knowledgeable about the topic so you can respond more uh, quickly, but also, of course, you have to respond safely. So sometimes confronting perpetrators can be dangerous and there are other means, as I mentioned, uh, supporting victims and targets is another way to do that and reporting to authorities, whatever they may be in the situation. For governments, I think there's a lot of work to uh, be done on better educating people about racism within schools and different educational contexts. Uh, having stronger anti-racism strategies and policies and practices at various levels of government. Often governments are not good at acknowledging racism when it happens. But also, so that's, that's a kind of a population level social marketing effect where you try and raise levels of awareness and, and help individuals within society. But at a more basic uh, level of the nation state itself, uh, there are real difficulties uh, with giving up power, essentially. You know, we had the Uluru Statement from the Heart in 2017, where Aboriginal people asked for some things from government, including better representation, better political autonomy, more self-determination, and that was rejected uh, outright by the government. So. We see uh, Indigenous rights being overridden for mining, uh, for example. So we, there are some rights that have been uh, fought hard for and won in Australia. But unfortunately, I don't think the, the government, the, um, yeah, I don't think the government is really ready yet. It hasn't shown any readiness to share to share power properly with Indigenous people and also to learn about why we keep saying that things need to be done differently. You know, what is it that we're actually saying? Learn, learn about the wisdom and the benefits of Indigenous people's knowledges uh, and understandings in Australia. This brings us to broader issues of ongoing colonisation and um, lack of care for what we call country, so land and sea and air and all of life is not cared for well in the, in the modern Australian nation state. And governments, if they were listening better, would do things differently in terms of um, how, they, how they relate to Indigenous people, but also how 
they relate to the things that we think are important, which is the ongoing health of life on this continent.